One day later. You know, sometimes a witcher's life isn't half bad. <laughs> oh. No, no, please don't. Please don't. Aww. Fine. Hmm. It must suffice. What? You don't like my little layer of man grease? Think of your cares if I'm clean. <laughs> the gentleman will refer to his imperial majesty by his full title or not at all. You keep your eyes up here, buddy. I saw that. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. On the what? The what now? <laughs> In that chair. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Go sit in the damn chair, Geralt. Shape the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. I kind of rather like the beard on Geralt. It looks very experienced. Manly. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it yeah. to my dignity. Exactly. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Well, aren't you just a bunch of fancy Nancy? Beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. Uh, if you insist, but this better not be a Barbara Fleet Street type situation. Because... How goes That would be just rude. Preparations for the audience proceedings planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? <laughs> he a barber too? Ooh, looking good already, Geralt. No, Movran Boris, commander Aye. of the Aldergri. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. I'm sorry to hear Indeed that. Were, for none have returned to with you, have they? I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. I mean, you have time and uh, razor to your throat. I beg your pardon. Here's the thing. I actually had nothing to do with it at that Wild time. Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. No, they weren't dashing across These the sky. They were kind of dashing right behind us there, dickbag. You and your heavy layer of eyeliner would have been very that. spooked as well. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> I love Geralt. We can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. <laughs> nice me you teach you manners, that would be a challenge. Shall I shave him once more <laughs> against the grain? Also, I no. absolutely love the he texture pop in that just happened on Geralt's face. The grain, that's <laughs> enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. What's that supposed to mean? Good. Now the gentleman may dress. I... <sighs> Still can't get used to the gentleman situation. Are we good? Thank you. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments shave, our tailor will adjust them. Like, on the fly? That's one swift tailor. Where's my clothes? Where my clothes? Where they should have gone long ago, with the laundress. I would like to have them back, they please. They will be returned to you after the audience, clean and starched. Oh. The gentleman will tell yeah, me yeah, once he That's actually not too shabby of a deal. I think we will be okay with this. Um, Get dressed, and then talk to the chamberlain. Okay. Well... We've got one of three here. I really don't like the shoulder poofs. But all of them have the shoulder poofs. Uh, whatever. I guess we'll go ahead and pick the one in the middle here. Elegant courtier's duple, North Guardian trousers, and the elegant shoes. Fine. <laughs> Still in a towel. <laughs> it has two armor. <laughs> That's so damn funny. Okay. Well, at least I've still got my glyphs and all of my items and stuff. So this isn't a hostile takeover necessarily. But I couldn't fight my way out of here if I tried. So we might as well be nice. Hmm. Touch tight in the waist. 
but it will do. Uh, hey, Doesn't eyes up here. That is the second gentlemen. time I've had to warn you about that. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough when in Nilfgaard. Yep. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose. <laughs> Do you want me to no look need. like you, a little poofter? The gentleman's complexion is light enough. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that a is that a comment against my naturally pale witcher skin? I must confirm that he knows how to bow. <sighs> Fine. Confirm away. Confirm away. Please watch. <laughs> Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. Well, isn't that fancy? Gentlemen, will rehearse. Do I have to? Uh, it was right leg forward, left hand on chest, right? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. <laughs> leg extended, hand flat, head down, chin to chest. Oh, it's his left leg forward. The gentleman will rehearse. My bad. Look, I just had it backwards, mm, okay? Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of North. I'm West. going to punch you so hard! Come with me. Follow the Chamberlain. Alright. Follow the Chamberlain. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Do I have to? Arch Magnificency. Ah. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Why? What's up the Emperor's advice. butt? Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Loudly, clearly, with respect. Well, isn't this a nifty room? Hi! You! In the chair! You must be the important one here. Emir Var Emreis! No. Yeah, definitely no. I kind of forgot how to do that, actually. Your Imperial My Majesty. apologies. Thank you kindly all for coming. I appreciate it. Have a great night. Now you. Why for did you call so many me? months at Faltest Court. Yet you still haven't mastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. I'm over a hundred years old, sir. I bowed to no king. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days. So Silence. Yeah, about the time that I My daughter ruined, Surila. Rescued you from a curse, man. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. A. What makes you think she's back? Are you sure? Siri left. Went far, far away. Yeah, lost in the desert. Believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor. I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I would just like I have some forgotten evidence. How you can be. No. I, I haven't practical. the time to convince you, nor the desire. That's why I'm still alive. Jennifer will do that after the audience. <sighs> Fine. So why do you want me? You got army, twenty thousand, thirty. Exactly. So why me? But you got you know Jennifer, why. and you got because she trusts you. She really? trusts me. Yes. So tell me why you want me to ruin that her? trust Doubt to bring her back up for all those to lost you? years for reasons of state. As always. Ah, of course. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. Why? If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. Oh. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Oh. Considerably more. Oh. Interesting. Well, here's the thing. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, because regardless of whether I'm going to screw him over or not, I need to take the information first. I need information. So he might as well motivation. seem like we're being cooperative Siri in this situation. Leaves few tracks. 
shall be hard to find. Exactly. My core of spies will help you. Count on them. Core, and my core of spies. Should the need arise. Yennefer will tell I would like to know what you know, sir. This audience is finished. Merrid. <sighs> and now we're being dismissed. Taken to the sorceress. Yeah, I don't really appreciate the way you conduct business, Emperor. I have a feeling you and I may end up on the opposite end of some cross swords one day. Did the gentleman not understand? Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the Emperor? Oh, you definitely Relax. told me. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. Good. How? Please keep close and bother no one. Oh, and the nut breaches of etiquette for one day. Hi. Hello. Oh. Hello, Miss Noblewoman. Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? Nope. I'm Herobard the second Wait. of Elanda. Not only am Who's I talking? wait here like some supplicant, but with whom for company? The gentleman with a dime for a stroll mate. Master Please of the Tanner's Guild. As if a witcher. Oh, that's just perfect. I would really like to punch that guy. But I feel like this is the wrong place to go around punching people. So I'll behave. I have my eye on you, Nordling. Can I talk to anyone here? A couple of workers trying to dig up this seal for some reason. What are you doing? Oh, you can't. Hi. You talking about me? Forgive us, sir. Forgive us, sir. Aww. But you're totally talking about me. Hi. Mind if I interrupt? Got a couple of questions for you. We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Interesting. That's actually kind of a witcher, spe uh, witcher specialty. Know a thing or two about that. Care to explain? Never changes. I try to stay out of things, stand aside. Then comes an urgent summons, and an offer I can't refuse. Either for monetary about or that. for emotional Why purposes. Don't we the subject? So, so, got a couple questions. Talk to the emperor about that guy. He seems hmm. like kind of a dick. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. Interesting. No, but I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Yep. Mm -hmm. Totally. Some weirbubs. <laughs> oh, Geralt, I fucking love your sarcasm. Soon, mind you. Why? Yes, I am, but I'm also in a hurry to totally taunt your general because he's kind of a douche. <laughs> oh. Every time Geralt and I kind of wow, jive like that, insane. it just makes me laugh that much more. And it may, like, I wonder if his personality does kind of change a little bit based on the choices that you make, or if, you know, he's going to say what he's going to say. Or if you put, you know, do you read into it more than you should? Ah, nice. So I get my shit back very soon. Yes. That's right. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council. What are you yammering on about, Ambassador Bar Atir? I don't know, but I can't talk to you, so. You don't really care. Tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism. What shall become of Tamaria? We've got a whole bunch of books in here. Royal lineages of the North. Nothing over there. Apple and a vial. Nah, I'm good on that. I really don't want to start a war over an apple and a vial. No, I don't want to ignite it. I want to loot. Nope. That's what I want to loot. Wow, really? There's nothing interesting inside of this place. <laughs> I say nothing interesting, but... Well... Geralt. That tunic, you look positively smashing. There's no uh, need for sarcasm. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. Uh, but we've matters to attend to. Damn it! Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Kind of. Uh -huh. And seems we're in the same boat now. But I wonder how you See, got here. She's really back? No 
chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. But still not a full witcher. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. Right. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. <laughs> Look, we're I'm good at monster slaying. Scene. We're right. good at king putting right. down. Amir said the eh, we're all right at romance. Her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? By us, I mean you. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri. Really? Using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick I guess they would be kind of upset well, at you for, well, for at us, mm. for escaping or being trail, released or what have you. For some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. Uh-huh. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. I see. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. So you decided to put all of the Emperor's resources at your disposal into finding me so that I could put all the Emperor's resources at his disposal into finding her. The Wild Hunt. What could it want from Ciri? I've no I mean, clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have that. Yeah, address. she hasn't been taken before. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. Her what? As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. Uh, I imagine it's something that we'll find out about later. So where's Siri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The really? trail in Velen is That's most promising. Actually, not too far. First stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. Look, so we like All the cloak and dagger stuff, dear. Don't. Reports, mm. rumors, Why you gotta make fun? The help of our mutual is it because I'm in a tunic and I don't have my swords? Tris Merigold. Apparently, she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure, she'll be delighted to see me. Yeah. What about you? We kind of what left her do? behind in favor of saving the dragon I last shall time. I sail for There was a magic explosion there recently. Blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Siri. Okay. Trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Actually, I would kind of like to go to the magic explosion. One but I am curious. Before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I mean, how long have you been this. back? I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Really? Damn. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Oh. Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. So... You really don't believe me. Which means you didn't experience any amnesia. Because if you had, you would be like, yeah, no, that happened to me too. Right? Guess this Interesting. Means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Uh, Not gonna happen. No. I'll go on Teleportation makes me very nauseous. Have it your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. I thought you Think were just so? chiding yeah, me I earlier. I have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, Talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. Actually, I really would and like Geralt, to know a couple of things about what has happened in the world. But try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Yes, ma'am. Waiting. 
Hmm. I believe that those are marching orders we can follow. Retrieve your equipment from the Chamberlain. I will do that in just a minute, but first... Ambassador Barth, Hi. I have a couple Anna questions for you. That I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Okay. Huh. So... I guess let's start out at the top. How's the war going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. Right. Because when we left off... I assume this to be a private conversation. Nope. We We're good here. Is, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. Yeah. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Now it's kind of our fault. Only a weakened Kedwin remained. And Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. Yeah, they kind of just we shacked themselves up. Peace. Perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? It's never going to happen. Yes. He's going to sit there vain hope I agree. behind his walls and Radovid just... Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. What? This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. Huh. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. And so now... They can't really do much of an advance. Kavir values its neutrality enough not to lend. Kavir will be the northernmost kingdom. Even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses, unprecedented even. And in the end, no one really won or lost. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Amir Va Enris will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you so just you go think. home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. A few hundred. I'm afraid the stakes are too thousand? high to fold now. We can only go all in. <sighs> if you say so. Well, what about that situation in Velen you were mentioning? How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. <laughs> this land never flowed with milk and honey. And now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times. Trampling fields, looting ground. It is. Burning that is villages, kind of the danger of being the country on the front the line. You're the first to get conquered mm -hmm. and the first to get reconquered so and the first to get re-reconquered. paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Yeah, that's Plus, probably just monsters. Like I doubt that's anything authority in this region Nordling related. Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Okay. So what's new in Novigrad? Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenfurt, and the Emperor is here in Vizima. Tamaria's old capital, both, just overtaken and by the Emperor. Both coin and ships. And Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. So religion. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly. And so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Hmm. And the witch hunts. Who started the... the war. Who profits from it. Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. Uh, I would be careful with that language. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. 
First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. And what about from this last place, Skelly? What's Skellige? Skellige. Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. Remaining like mostly their untouched. They quarrel with each other, pillage, occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Rude. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet. King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. You seem to know a lot, actually. I think I might end up talking to you in the future. Thanks for your help. Think nothing and of your it. candor. May the great sun light your path. I appreciate it. I apologize for talking shit about you when I first came in here. So anyway, uh, let's go retrieve our equipment. And then continue on our merry. I guess it... Our next little quest would be to go find Siri. How might I serve the gentleman? I would I love my things. to have my armor back. Please. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Thank you. Mm. Thanks, bunches. Till the first time I get some drown of blood on the it. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound. As soon as possible. I'll uh, work on it. something of the sort. So long. Cool. So we got all of our shit back. And of course, it doesn't equip any of it. Great. Thanks. Appreciate it, game. Uh, but I can go ahead and equip this Velen Longsword now that it was level four. And my Silver Sword. Shing, shing. Cavalry gauntlets. Leather jacket. Boots. Trousers. Yeah. Damn, it feels good to have all of my stuff back. Uh, salmon bombs. I need to. I, I think I need to make more grape shot. Or I wonder if those qualify under the meditate rules of you know when you meditate they remake. I don't know. But we have a new quest available here, as it's well as talking to Velen. New marker: the hanged man's tree. In the Royal Palace of Vizima. New quest, the Milf Guardian connection, which is the one we're currently on. Then there's this nobleman here. Is there nothing about this tree? Okay. I guess it was just a, you know, like, here's this tree. Mm -hmm. Hi. Really? It's just Gwent? Your quest marker was just the card game? that I still know nothing about, honestly. I may do a special card game episode at some point because See. I hear that there's way more interest in it than uh, that I should have because it can give you some really great stuff. And it's apparently a really great card game as well. Yes, and as green. So maybe not right now, but at some point in the future we'll do a special card game episode. Hi. Are you guys still working on that fucking thing? And they're continuously either breaking down or putting up a stained glass window. I don't know. They're kind of breaking apart that in the middle. So part of me wants to guess that they're actually breaking it apart. Huh. So now. Space world map. Travel to Velen. And we go to the... Oh, the hangman's tree is our new point out in Velen. Interesting. Okay. Let's go. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited. But something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar. And she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. She did behest me pretty hard. Like, I'm not going to lie. So I kind of have no problem doing it. 
And yet here we are five days later in the northern part of Tamaria. Oh. And now I see why they call it the hangman's tree. How delightful. And we still got that griffin head. Okay, so we can go to the end at the crossroads there. There's a whole bunch of wild dogs just hanging out. I wonder how far away that is. Way far. Well, now we've got boats. Oh, wow. This land is much larger than the first area. Holy shit, Nuggets. Are you kidding me? All of these notice boards with all of these quests and boats to get. Oh my. Yeah, this map's pretty big. Oh well, I guess we gotta start somewhere. And so our search for Siri begins. We've got three huge cities to explore and a whole wide world in front of us. So hit that subscribe button and stay right there because we've got more Witcher action coming up.